Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Legacy Studio. Oh man, what a day. What a day. You know, I, I, found, I did count on how many people we've done so far. 17. Oh my goodness. 17 <laughs> in two days. That's a big... Okay, now, it's 18 is my magic number. That's the re record of a single day. Oh, wow. So we've got a bit more to go. But, Kat, yes. I'm thinking I might get there. There might be the chance. Tonight might be the night. Uh, let me tell you something. The reason why I love doing this is connecting with people like yourself. And I really, really loved your work. I, I'm, Thank you. I'm glad you were busy talking with the guys in there and doing some stuff. Because I'm like, ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at this. Magpies. Mm -hmm. What is mm -hmm. it about magpies that just makes you go, oh, it's so cool? <laughs> it's definitely like the contrast. It is. It's the contrast. It's the pattern on the wings when you see them yes. flying. It's it's so iconically, you know, Western. Yeah. It just, yeah. even though they there's a love-hate relationship that most yeah. people have with them, when you see them, you know that you're like, in the West and you're experiencing it. Well, if you go down south, you see everyone keeping uh, little... Uh, you know, prairie dogs as yeah, pets. And yes. it's like, I shot that last week. You know? <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> so Actually, today, even in my room, I had a guy say that oh, yeah. when he grew up, they would have a competition as to how many magpies they could shoot. Oh, really? When he was a child. Oh, boy. But his wife absolutely loves them. Yeah. So she hates hearing that story. So he wants to tell you, he wants to tell you that behind her back. Yes, <laughs> exactly. exactly. I don't bl blame him, but I agree. I, magpies and crows, like, no, not crows, ravens. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. those birds. Yes. And they are very, very fun to paint. Mm -hmm. I've done a couple. I, I, I went and I got some old records, and I painted them on my records. Yeah. You know, and that was really, really fun. So you follow uh, a bunch of different stuff, and your work is very loose in a good way. Yes, yep. I love the idea of impressionistic, yes. loose oil painting. You can approach it from, like, thinning it down and yep. letting it run to using that palette knife and just layering it and getting it on. So that means, and, and please don't take this the wrong way because it, it sounds weird, but that means you, you have a loose personality. You prefer, <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's not what I meant, people. But, but that, that means you, you, you're able to let the art do its own work. Yes, you want, you want the paint to be paint. Yes. That's kind of how I've always, yes. I've always felt. It's like, I'm not a magician. I can't make it look like a, ph a photograph. Mm -hmm. It my would drive me crazy. I don't have that sort of patience. My problem is I pick up a palette knife and I hold it and I start doing this. Mm. <laughs> just get scared of it, you know? It's like You just got to slather huh. it on and just like try your best and you can always take it and wipe it right back off. Scrape it off. Let's tell a woman who's trying to put on the makeup, think loose, slather it <laughs> on. It'll slather. be fine. <laughs> and that, 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 that is... So coming from my background, being the caricature side of things, everything mm -hmm. that I've done is detail-oriented. All my lines, if they're not looking like vector from a computer, mm -hmm. I'm not happy. If my colors aren't painted within the lines, like I've been doing this for 35 years, then, yeah. you know. So, so this loose feeling, when you're doing it, do you have the fear factor? Are you sitting there going, oh, I hope that... Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Like, and so typically, if I start a piece, I'll do a loose, very loose drawing. Mm -hmm. And then I go back in with a burnt sienna to mm -hmm. kind of do that underpainting. Right. But I find that I end up even having to alter the drawing I've done. Mm -hmm. Then I go in and do, you know, my darkest darks. Mm -hmm. And I'll usually do a little bit of a dark outline, too, and end up still refining that drawing, refining yeah. that image. When you're doing something representational, you still want it to be accurate you yes. want to get those proportions right you want to get the anatomy as close as you can yeah. even though you're trying to create a loose feel it's amazing so you slowly hone it in with yeah. each layer in each process yeah. now let's see let's see if you go through this too and, and i've had a couple people respond in comments on the channel and they're saying i'm just so glad to hear that people make mistakes still oh, yeah. you know All and it's time. and it's like yes absolutely absolutely there's so many ways to get to rome and let's see if you follow this one too here's one of my struggles I'll start painting, and I'll feel like I have to do everything exactly to my sketch or everything exactly to the mm -hmm. photo. And I forget the fact that to, all I have to do is touch it up and adjust to make yeah. the changes. And I forget that because my brain is in that <clears throat> mode, yes. get everything right mode. Do you go through that? And it, reach, it reaches that kind of like, so it's scary when you're, you mm -hmm. have your blank canvas in front of you. You've decided what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Then you're doing it for a minute, and you're like, oh, the sketch is good, or the mm -hmm. outline's good, or the underpainting's good. Maybe I should stop there. Yep. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Especially with the underpainting so yes. often. But then 
you get to the point where you're laying in the color, then you get to the ugly stage where you're like, this is all garbage, what am I doing? And then you usually, like, I feel it's best to step away, get out of the room, yeah. even if it's for a couple hours, then come back, fresh eyes. Yeah. And usually it's much better than your little self-doubting thoughts were at Agreed. that moment. And Agreed. you can come back to it and be like, nope, it's good. Let's just lay in a darker color here, mm-hmm. or a lighter mm-hmm. color here, and, and rework it just to, to get it. Back, do, do, you, <laughs> do you hate that line, trust the process, as much as I do? Yeah. But I hate that. It is true. It's true. It is true. But <laughs> I don't want to hear that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't want to hear that because then that means I actually have to do what it says. Yes. That's no fun. Yes. <laughs> so if you hear a bunch of stuff rolling around in the background, we just had a lovely dinner. They're cleaning yes. up after that. We also had a quick finish, which was yep. quite impressive. Yeah, it went well. It went yes, well it went for very, very well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we still have two more days of quick draws and quick finishes coming up. It's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. Lots to enjoy here. We're at the Out West Art Show. Now, what is your room, Kat? Uh, 273. 273. Mm-hmm. You got a lot of great stuff in there. And what I really liked is you have a lot of sizes. Yes. You got some yes. miniatures. You got you got a lot of varying mm-hmm. sizes. And I saw that some of that was actually very, very uh, positively affordable. Mm-hmm. So I've always been keen on not making prints yeah. and not making... There's nothing wrong with prints, but I've always, like, yeah. I joke I'm kind of a purist. Sure. I want someone to buy a piece of art and, and still theirs. be able to see that they see the brush strokes, yeah. see the layers of yeah. paint. And, yes, some prints are pretty well done, but nothing is better than having an original and well, being able to see it. I agree. And so I definitely create a broad range, and especially, like, my minis. So that anyone collect, can collect them if yeah. they want. Yeah. I and think that's a lovely idea. Mm-hmm. I, and and I, I'm a person who thinks prints are a great idea. I yeah. think they are. Mm-hmm. But not for everybody. Not for everybody. Not for everybody. And and all, all, so many of my friends create them, and it's wonderful. Well, I think, I think your premise is really, mm-hmm. really great. For any size of art, you can give them an original Yes. An original you. And that's mm-hmm. that's a really amazing gift. Yeah. That's a really mm-hmm. amazing gift. And yeah. and you're making it in a way where um, even an artist like myself can afford it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I think that's fantastic. Yes. Kind of being very much an artist yes. artist who yes. like I've been doing it for twenty years yeah. and of course, every once in a while I end up with a little part-time job. Got to pay those bills. Ooh, I know, you me know? too. I those get it. Those ups and downs. Yep. But in general, like, I myself want to be able to afford others' original work. So, I mean, my husband and I, we have a house full of small pieces from yeah. incredible artists yeah. from all over. Because we can afford those. Yeah. You know, we have a few large pieces, but it's like those little ones when you're traveling and going to shows, you can bring home and, and well, enjoy. Th- there's something beautiful about someone walking into your booth and just going, ah, and just having that look yeah. where, where you know if they mm-hmm. have that, mm-hmm. if I have to make a small sacrifice for them to have that, yeah. what a gift for me. Yes. How selfish can I be? Yeah. To be able to to be able to treat yeah. them and give them something amazing. They're so excited about it, and yeah. that's that's what you want. And yeah. honestly, so many times, if they just buy one of my minis, as I call mm-hmm. them, they end up with a small collection of minis through yeah. the time, yeah. and then eventually will buy a bigger piece yeah. when they can, or to add to the collection. It's it's yeah. called stirring the pot, my friends. What yeah. we're, <laughs> we're we're making people interested in us. Because I mean, here's the reality: I've met some lovely people. Who you really have to work to get to understand them. Yeah. And they're incredible artists, but their they're very their lovely attitude that you have to learn mm-hmm. slows down their sales because other people are having to learn that. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many different personality there types. Is. And, and it's like, I, I get shy for sure. I am oh, definitely, yeah. I think most artists are introverts. Look, I, I would agree. I would agree. Yeah. We're like locked away. We, we spend so much time alone in yes. our studios. Yes. Like so much time. But that mm-hmm. opportunity for them to meet you and see your heart. Yes. See, see what makes you click mm-hmm. and why you're doing this. Yeah. And that's why this, this show is amazing to yeah. see a collection of an artist's work in their room. Yeah. And then when you have the live painting event, so I will be doing the quick draw tomorrow. Oh, really? Awesome. Yes. So. What you going to do? I'm going to do a black bear head portrait. Awesome. Because I only have an hour from start to finish, mm-hmm. which is scary. 
<laughs> I, I get every it. Every time I do it, I'm like, why am I doing this? But mm-hmm. it's fun. It's an experience. It's a, it, it takes you on a journey, yeah. for sure. But that's why people but buy that, too. Mm-hmm. They're wanting the experience, too. They're watching you go through the stress. Yes, exactly. I get it completely. And 100%. to see everyone's palettes, everyone's, yes. like, what they're working with, what mm-hmm. they choose to work with. It's, it's amazing, and it's an incredible experience that you get to have here. And it's one of the very few times that you get to sit among other artists yes. and work yes. and feel the spirit of the other artists yeah, around you. Yeah, we all connect. We all end up having these moments of yes. self-doubt and, yes. you know, whether what are we doing and is it relevant and <laughs> this and that. And then you get in a room with all these other artists, and we're all experiencing the same things. And it really it makes you feel at home and connected. It renews with. you. It renews mm-hmm. you for the next year. Yep, absolutely. This is this so is so much how inspiration. Yes, yeah, it's endless inspiration. Walking in, <laughs> walking into other rooms is dangerous mm-hmm. because you're like, well, I'm in my blue period, and then you walk into the other room, green period. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it, it's it's one of those situations where it's so easy to become inspired by someone else in every single room, yes. one way or another. Absolutely, cat, you're incredible. That oh, was so you. much fun. <laughs> no, seriously, what a wonderful interview. Now. Uh, so we've already gotten your room, but I gotta ask you: God forbid these people don't show up. You know better. Get your butts over here. <laughs> Where do they go when they find you online? Yeah, so I'm in. Uh, well, online I'm at cathouseman.com. Mm-hmm. Instagram is Kathleen Katie Cat, but <laughs> if you look up Cat Houseman, it'll pop up. And then I'm in uh, Four Fine Art Gallery here in Montana, mm-hmm. and then. Um, I mean, a few. There's there's Four Ravens Gallery in Missoula, Gallery 286 that's owned by Kathy Toot, mm-hmm. another artist who's incredible mm-hmm. in Ennis. And then uh, Shoto Arts Guild, I think it's Arts Guild, in Shoto, Montana, and they're amazing, nice. amazing people. And where so, do you call home? <laughs> so currently Bellingham, Washington, yeah. but I grew up here in Great Falls. Nice. So I grew up going to the show mm-hmm. as, as a kid. And, and so look at where you are now. Yeah, you know, the big dream of, of being here and doing it, and it's like, you know, you work hard and you get it done. And you do work hard. Here we are. <laughs> Kat, would you please do the honor? I would love to I would sign appreciate the hat. It. So cool. Thank look you. All of these signatures. All amazing people, Incredible. head to toe. <laughs> head to toe. They've become close friends. You know how it goes. Let's you can sign here. it wherever you want. I'm soon people are going to have to sign, start signing the bottom of it too, and I'm fine yeah. with that. I, that hat's going to turn black by the time I'm done with it. That's my goal. It's going to just be nothing but signatures. That's awesome. It'll be worth millions. <laughs> yes. That's not the purpose. Actually, the truth is, I was wearing that hat when I asked my wife to marry me. Oh, so wow. it's it's got it's got a lot of it's got a lot of history, and oh I'm just enjoying gosh. adding to the history. That's you know. Amazing. See anyone on there you recognize? Yes, so many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. They're they're all incredible people, and it's mm-hmm. been an honor to talk with each one of them on the podcast, and it's my little special piece of history. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, lots of friends on here. That's I li- amazing. I like the guys who go the extra mile. They got the extra little pictures little and stuff on there, too, right? The drawings are incredible. Yeah. And then uh, oh and, uh, Chip drew himself oh. on the front. Yep. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, oh folks, you can goodness. check out more <laughs> over on the Out West Art Show and Sale on Facebook. And then, of course, head on over to my YouTube channel, which is Legacy Art Studio. Uh, I have over 500 plus videos on how to draw caricatures and cartoons. Go and check them out. They go way back. You can see me when I had hair. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Um, and, of course, we have so much more coming here. Uh, and just a humongous thanks to all the amazing folks who made this possible for us to be here and put our show up here. It's incredible. So we'll see you all in a little bit. we got a lot more coming your way. The time now, is, as we're recording this, is around... Uh, actually, we're about to hit 8 o'clock. And so the night is almost done. This ends at 9, and then yep. we're on to day 2 tomorrow. We already got a whole bunch of people scheduled up tomorrow, so there's videos to be waiting for you if you want some more artist highlights. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>